Uh, so it needs um, a good distance to throw a fairly decently sized picture. Um, so I would put this in a room of at least, uh, where you have at least 20, 15 to 20 feet at least, uh, where you can mount this away from the uh, surface you want to project it on. Um, currently I'm using <coughs> VGA connector. It does not have an HDMI. This is the old style. So it does have DVI, oddly. Um, I don't remember which one that was. I think this... Oh, DVI-D is what it has. Uh, it also has the BNC connection, connector style as well. And that's the old style. Some of us remember. Some of us have never seen it. And the back is your control. If you do not have... Um, a remote which right now I'm using a Panasonic um, generic remote and it seems to you know serve its purpose and it does work all most of the functions that I've needed to especially on and off so that's the most important one so that's okay um, this unit does have a lot of hot air that comes out the back so where you mount it, just like any projector, make sure you mount it in a place where it, it has a place to vent and it's not going to be <clears throat> in a place where it's going to be uh, suffocating itself with all the, bunch, with all the uh, air that circulates through. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the screen. Here is the screen projection. Um, it's small because, again, the distance I only have is about 10 feet, so I cannot throw a large enough image on this wall. Um, but it does have a decent picture. This is VGA, Super VGA. The definition is fairly good. Um, I would be happy to have this in any kind of a, you know, small home theater. Um, where you're just enjoying DVDs and regular TV and stuff. Uh, 4K, I've never tested with this. I don't know if it can handle it or not. Um, but considering that it does have not have HDMI, I would assume that it kind of tops out at the <coughs> best resolution you can get uh, DVI-D at. But other than that, it's great. Um, you can use it for a gaming system. You can use it for DVD players. Um, it's a good, you know, large venue entry projector. Um, I have a couple of these that I'm trying to get rid of because I just don't have the room. And uh, if you're interested, get in touch with me and maybe we can work out a deal. But other than that, it is a good projector. It does work. The lamps are still good. They still have time on them. Um, I would use this like, like I am right now. I would hook it up to a game system and just, you know, find a surface you can project it on and just enjoy it. But uh, I'd always wanted to see what it was like to have a theater or a large venue projector. And now I have one. I've tried it out and I do like it. So I do plan on somehow working, you know, out something like this in the future, um, if I have room. I did find this and I thought this was interesting. It shows you all the different modes that it accepts and how and through what connection um, it'll accept them. So it looks like the DVI-Ds are the 1080 connections and the VGA, the maximum, looks like it's a 720. Still, I mean, it is a good projector. I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't turn it down. It shows a decent picture. It looks like it's, you know, able to throw a good distance. And like I said, if I had a bigger, you know, space and I was able to show you actually a much larger throw, um, it would probably make more sense. But this is a lovely projector for what it is and what it can do. Um, it may be old, but still some of the old ones are still, you know, functional and they do provide good entry points for people that are 
trying to, you know, save money, but still have the opportunity to, you know, put something like this together for themselves to enjoy it. Because I know that's how I was. Um, I didn't have, you know, a couple thousand to throw at a, a really good projector. And so I had to, you know, look around and find some deals. And that's how I ended up having, you know, these two or three because they were affordable. And I just picked them up because I was like, I'll use them somewhere or I'll give them to friends. Um, but that is what you're looking at. The options that are available uh, for this projector as far as uh, visual display settings.